Hello viewers, welcome back again. I told you, stay tuned, I'll be coming back, and that is our 20th session. Now, we did introduce what a family is, and we did look at types of families. Now today, you get to look at the Christian understanding of what a family is. Welcome all, your teacher is Rajab Mishira. What do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the responsibilities of children in a Christian family, and also the obligations of parents in a Christian family. Now, a family is an institution, right? And it is instituted by God, right? It is an institution and it is instituted by God. Now, a Christian family is founded on a monogamous marriage, right? Remember, sorry, remember we did say that uh, in a Christian family, one man, one wife. One wife, one man. Right? Not like in the traditional society, whereby it is a polygamous. In Christian, it is found a monogamous marriage. Now, in a Christian family, children are not a must. However, they are considered as a gift from God. Look at... Uh, uh, look at... Uh, who is this in the Bible? Look at Anne, Anna. And I prayed for years without a baby, but still they lived as a family, right? Now, each family should be made up of one man, one woman. I said that already. This avoids uh, cases of immorality. Now, family members should solve their disputes uh, peacefully. Yes, they should solve their disputes peacefully. Now, husband and wife should be governed by love, submission, and mutual obedience to each other. And uh, that Christian's family should be enhanced spiritual growth. For its members, meaning in a family, you just sit around the table, get to praise God, worship, you share spiritual, right? The spiritual, spiritual motivation, whatever, right? All those you do in a family. Good. Now, what are some of the obligations of a parent to their children? Now, as a parent, right, you should not provoke your children, right? You should not provoke your children, right? All over when they make a mistake, you should not provoke them. Now, also discipline in order they can be, be, be at peace, right? You should discipline your children. Good. Don't just leave them as, as, as such. Discipline them. Train up children to grow morally upright. You should train up children to grow morally upright. And also encourage children to go to church in order to grow spiritually. Right? Yes, as, as a parent, you should also show your children that you should go to church. Yes? And the kind of children you should go, you should go to church. What about uh, children? They have a responsibility. Right? In the Christian family also. Now, they, sh they, 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 should, they should listen and obey to their parents' instructions. They should listen and obey to their parents' instructions. That is a, an obligation. That is a responsibility. Look at the versions. The children obey your father and mother for your lives on earth will be long. That's an obligation. That's a responsibility. And also, you uh, should seek for guidance and counseling from each parent if need be. Yes. If you, if, if you are, as a child, right, in a family, when you feel stressed, when you, when you feel like something is troubling you, you should always seek guidance and counseling from your parents. Also, you should honor and respect their parents. That again is derived from the book of Ephesians, right? That also is, is derived from the book of Ephesians. Now, they should also not curse, scorn, or mock their parents, right? They should not curse, scorn, or mock their parents. That is a responsibility. That is an obligation, right? That is a responsibility. That is an obligation. Now, basically, you have looked at responsibilities, responsibilities of a parent in a family, and also responsibilities of a child, uh, the children in a family. Now, for our task, can we get to state uh, the advantages of a traditional African society? Uh, hmm. It should be advantages of a family. State the advantages of family in a traditional African society and also what are some of the obligations 
of a traditional African family for reference, get to refer to Christian Religious Education, Students Book 4, the third edition. And as always, this has been Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel, where you get to watch and learn. Contact us via contact address on your screen. Thank you so much and stay tuned at Elimu TV.